So the version of this exercise that I would encourage is the one where you actually separate um, the strikes. So rather than playing right, right, left, left like this, which is totally valid and, and doable and good as an activity as well, um, in order to be able to get a little bit more precision, I would actually, I'm going to teach you it right, left, right, left. So what we're doing is we're striking with the right middle finger, then the left middle finger, then the right forefinger, and the left forefinger. And that's just going to encourage us to get that separation rather than falling into the trap of it turning into a flam or like almost like a lazy roll, right? So right, left, right, left. And in order to be able to use um, texture, we want to be able to do this from down below with our hands kind of on the instrument. But I don't recommend practicing this for an extended period of time because this is going to put a lot of strain on the, uh, the tendons in your hands. So it's also good to be able to do it lifted so you can utilize the wrist as well. But typically if I'm playing from a lifted position, I'll also be using the split hand anyway. So this is the drumstick finger roll instead. So the activity then is um, this. One and two and three and four and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one and two and three and four and one E and a two E and a three and this is all muted for now. One and two and three and four and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one and two and three and four and one E and the two E and the three E and and with the lift one and two and three and four and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one and notice how I'm keeping my hands really low one E and even though I'm opening up the sound now, it's not muted, I still keep it as low as I can and it's all very much in the fingers. And fairly quiet in volume as well. One and two and three and four and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So I encourage you to practice that with a metronome as well. Um, starting at whatever tempo that was and then gently speeding it up. Also starting with the left hand is going to force you to really think about where you're placing that. So um, yeah, take that activity, practice that over and over and over again. And then when you're ready, you can turn that into this, the five stroke roll. So we've got uh, two E and a, no, sorry, it'll be four E and a one, four E and a one, four E and a one, four E and a one. 4E and a 1, 4E and a 1, 4E and a 1, right left right left 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 1, right left right left, and as you start to speed that up, yeah, so even though you're speeding it up um, and you're kind of rolling into the next bar of a piece of music, because you're playing one hand after the other, you've still got that nice clear separation of each strike and it's still nice and clean and very clearly divided right into that four e and a um, section. So um, yeah, so step one, uh, one and two and three and four and one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one. Practice this exercise. Step two, practice your five stroke rolls, four and a one, four and a one, four and a one, four and a one, or open as well. And then step three, this strike here becomes beat one of whatever groove you're working on, in this case,
that quite badly. Four E and a one. So let's slow it down a little bit. Four E and a one, two, three E and a four, one, two E and a three E and a four. We're actually, in this case, using 30 second notes. Yeah, you see how that five stroke roll comes in at the end? And. So by being patient and um, slowing that right down to that previous activity, that's going to give you the tools that you need to be able to just keep going, keep rolling with that groove and place that roll in there without it slipping into, which is also really cool. But as you can hear, it's a completely different feeling. It's, it's the lazy roll. And so you, you can't really hear the individual beats, it's just this kind of cool rolling thing. As opposed to, right, you hear how clean that is? Oops, <laughs> here's the lazy roll. And then here's the strong. Right, so yeah, take it all the way back to that previous activity, then practice the five strokes, then put it into context. Then the next step is to play some chords. Maybe you could roll into a chord. That would be a while. <laughs> that requires moving quite quickly. of that roll. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think focus on that roll for now and then experiment with how you can add some different variations in that texture. Um, yeah, cool. Enjoy.